Recently, the nascent West Wicklow Business Network were presented with a Wicklow development plan that, as it unfolded, seemed to have very little to do with our experience of West Wicklow. Anger was expressed to the presenter as to the various points until it was pointed out. When did we put our views forward to the Wicklow County Council as a distinct West Wicklow voice? Geographically speaking, it's related to our geographical distance from what is the main hub of, of County Wicklow. So West Wicklow is geographically isolated from the eastern seaboard where all the council decisions are made and most of the support mechanisms exist. The east side of Wicklow seems to have a much stronger voice. It seems to have the ear of the, you know, the, the county managers and the councils. Um, we'd like to think that we can have a strong voice here in West Wicklow. From the perspective of the council, my feeling would be that they see that they're doing as much for West Wicklow as they are doing for the east of the county. But if you ask them, have you been there? Or would you know this or this place or that place within Baltimore or that's something they wouldn't. But West Wicklow is doing business and doing it in a way that the IDA has stressed many times is the best way to do it, by creating our own business. But doing it in West Wicklow has its own unique problems. Take Pat Lee, for example. Pat has established a manufacturing business with very little help from any development agency. His company now exports their boilers and bespoke engineering all over the world. But his obstacle to business is fundamental to his success, ease of transport. I would say Bottomless has been a great place to do business. Uh, the people are really good and um, the barriers, I suppose, for doing business in Bottomless would be some of the road structure uh, in and out. The road that brings you to the N9, okay, it's only five or six miles long, but it's, it's just not good enough. Um, it's okay for me in my car or my van, but if you have a 40 foot Arctic lorry with some sensitive or delicate equipment on the back, you, you know, you boughs of trees overhanging, uh, potholes, badly repaired roads, all of that kind of uh, issues. And, uh, it's, it, and as well as that, it's narrow and there's a lot of bad corners. So, you know, it's, it's just not good enough for the size of machines and the size of lorries that come to here. West Wicklow, unfortunately, unlike places in Kildare, we don't have an Intel, we don't have a Hewlett Packard, we don't have a Glanbia uh, in, in this area, we, do, we don't have a Kerry Foods group in this area. However, um, there's no reason why we shouldn't have. We are an hour from Dublin Airport, uh, perhaps if we improved infrastructure, um, we could potentially bring big business into West Wicklow and who wouldn't want to live and work in this area? It's transport of a different kind, that of the digital highway, that causes problems in doing business for stress light just outside Blessington. In the biggest obstacles that we have here, we have uh, very poor internet um, and we lose uh, quite a lot of customers, not just uh, when we are doing drones, but uh, also with our phones. We have a very bad reception here uh, with, with the phone network as well. In fact, uh, we only recently signed a contract uh, for phones and they said they can't do, do much about it until um, uh, there's, uh, there's more investment in the area. A lot of our business is international, so we're all the time communicating by email um, across the water and into Europe, which if your emails are not working or if the internet system is down, it, it gives us a very big problem. Another very vocal complaint has been one that is a national problem, but in our small area can have major effects on future jobs. So we're primarily pharmacists, on top of that, we're building primary care centres and looking at other auxiliary services like physiotherapy, shropley, acupuncture and, and so on. In terms of developing the business and primary care centre development, it's the process of going through planning, 
and development itself, the, the planning process, the rating process, is, is fairly difficult to engage with. But Killian has come up against another local problem when trying to do business in West Wicklow. Marketing is particularly difficult in West Wicklow in that there's, there, we have to identify our own marketing channels because there's no major ones that exist. Radio doesn't tend to carry over to West Wicklow. You've got the East Coast FM for Decent Seaboard, you've got KFM for the other side. And newspapers, there's no real newspaper that's focused on, on the West Wicklow area. So we found a lot of our marketing has to be very much specific to the, to the west of the county. But marketing is not just selling outside, but getting your own neighbours to realise what is right beside them. Janet Hawkins, owner of Blessington Bookstore and Coffee Shop, is anxious to see the benefits of business networking, helping local business to shop locally. I think the biggest problem for small companies and small businesses is perception. People think that because we're small and we're in this town that we're more expensive than some of the bigger outlets in, in cities. Quite often we're very competitive. But we don't have the marketing budget to get that across. We have to rely on people coming in and discovering this, and which they which they do. So that's one of our biggest challenges: is to get the word out there that there's great value and good quality to be had in your local small business. It has been said many times that people like to do business with people they know and like. So getting to meet people is essential. Something that Sonia Moran in Punctual Print knows only too well, since they moved their business from Dublin to Blessington nine years ago. I'd noticed that there was a lot of people I was ringing and they'd say, oh, we do business in Dublin. i think, well, we're local. You know, it's all about supporting local. We, our whole company is about service and quality. And um, we've got great relationships with clients uh, going back years and it's a very, very personable service and um, very passionate about what we do. I just want to get to know people around the area and kind of build up relationships. People aren't going to go, oh, oh I need printing. I'm going to bring a printer and blessing them. They're going to look online and they're going to go to somebody in Dublin. Um, so that's what I feel the network will be very good for me. Look forward to seeing you then. Great stuff. Thanks a minute. Cheers. Michael O'Connell of House of Finance and temporary chairman of the West Wicklow Business Network is well aware of these possibilities. My business tends to be a lot business to business. And if business is flourishing in an area in West Wicklow, my business will also flourish. So the obstacles in my business may be directly in the likes of broadband coverage, but in the main, it's to do with infrastructure, footfall, uh, people maybe shopping and taking, looking for goods and service outside of West Wicklow. We don't need to go outside of our own county. We don't need to go outside of our own towns and areas. We have every type of business we need. We have HR consultants, we've got uh, website developers, uh, video producers, uh, fashion designers, uh, financial services like my own business, printers. So really, the way to overcome these obstacles is to come together to unify our voice and to talk directly to the people who can help us overcome our common obstacles and achieve our common goals. Longtime resident Finton Doyle of Doyle Print in Bolting Glass believes in the power of coming together in business. Uh, I know we had a junior chamber in Bolting Glass oh, 25, 30 years ago, which I was involved in at the time. Unfortunately, it, it died a death. But I'd like to see a Chamber of Commerce representing all the businesses in West Wicklow. I'd like to see representatives from uh, Blessington, Dunlavin, Hollywood, Baldwin Glass, Kiltegan, Radangan, Tinnahili, Carnew. So really that it covers all of the, the West Wicklow, the part of Wicklow that we think has been forgotten for years. And, you know, if you take all the ratepayers in West Wicklow, that's a lot of money Wicklow County Council get off us. You know, so I think that would give us great power going into the future for getting things done. It would also give us a voice that the council would have someone to talk to in our area. And uh, I think it'd be good for business and I think it's the way forward. We, you know, I suggest that we have at lunch and learns. I suggest that we have breakfast mornings and we introduce speakers. I suggest that we eventually set up a women in business in, on West Wicklow. You know, I'd love to do that as well. And eventually down the line when we people really get what it's all about that we have a West Wicklow Chamber of Commerce because I think that'd be very important for us all, for lobbying, for, for lots of reasons. Um, we just have to go out there and support each other because if we don't, who will look after each other? We have to do it for each, you know, for each other. Hopefully the, the local politicians were, will row in behind us and if that's the case, um, I think that um, 
uh, it will work very well for us and there'll be a great future for every company, set up company in West Wicklow. You know, start getting the likes of those communication issues and the, the road infrastructure and uh, signage, I suppose, as well, and um, you know, all of that kind of thing, uh, rates in the area, all of that, get them all together and let's have, let's have a go at getting that sorted out as a group. It would be great to see more startup businesses coming into West Wicklow. We have uh, excellent potential in relation to farming, to kind of bespoke products, dairy, cheeses. We've got some excellent craft brewers here in Grange Con, craft brewers in Manor. Um, there is a real, this could be the almost gastro hub of Ireland if we put our minds to it and develop it further. Um, we have so much potential here, part of the remit of the West Wicklow business. Uh, network is to try help small startup businesses realise this potential. Already the West Wicklow Business Network is showing what it can do. There is a website starting up to link the West Wicklow businesses together. A Facebook page has been started. Now you, the members, need to get these connections up and running and bring our business power together. Um, I'm passionate about look local first. I feel that whenever we need a product or a service, we should first look local. That doesn't mean we necessarily will always buy local, but we should look, give our friends and colleagues uh, a chance. So I see the website has been central to the West Wicklow uh, network business success. When you need anything, you go onto that website and find out who in our area does it. I'll have a look there first. If you want things in life, you've got to go looking for it. It's not going to come to your door. And that's the type of person I am. You have to work hard and just go out there, be yourself, but it's not all about taking, you have to give back. Engagement, I think I think for me the key piece is engagement, whether it's with other businesses or whether it's with the council or whether with, whether it's with government. And I think a business network or what may at some point be a chamber will allow us to achieve that. I'm a community man. The better the people in our community do, the better for everybody, the better for West Wicklow, the better for the county, the better for the country.